Last year, we shared the story of Will Jordan, who was involved in an ATV accident in Snyder. He was brought by helicopter here to UMC to save his life and his leg, which was broken and degloved. In 2018, I was out dove hunting in Scurry County with a few of my family members, and I went to dump an ice chest with our Polaris Ranger, and I had pulled in to the house, and there was a driveway that had kind of two ditches on either side, and going like seven miles an hour, just one wheel slipped off, started to fall, I jumped out, and it landed and crushed my leg, and I was airlifted to UMC. For a year and a half, I had zero bone growth. I was in crutches and wheelchair, couldn't bear weight for almost two years, and I was starting to lose hope. I don't think there's a word to explain how it felt. Like, as far as my 11-year-old self was concerned, I was, my life was over. Like, I'm, I've been in, I've been inside 14 days. I'm not used to this. And then seeing that I can do more than what I'm allowing myself to mentally and physically do, just honestly, I feel like helped my recovery process, knowing that I can get back to what I'm used to. And everything just took off. I just stayed strong, kept doing what I was told, and trusted the process, and here I am today. Everybody was great. I can't remember a bad experience being at UMC, and but that's kind of the difference between having a nice, like, I guess hometown hospital and a big city is kind of feel more personalized to your care. And everyone kind of cares more about how you feel instead of it just being, you know, surgery this, surgery that. They take time to explain everything to you. And it's like having a second family as my hospital family is what we refer to everyone from CMN as. I was a big baseball player. A week prior, I just finished my baseball season. I was always that way, you know. Active kid, I'm never gonna be in a hospital for, ended up being 20 some odd days combined. But when it happens to you, you'll be glad that, that you've got these resources. And, you know, crossing your fingers, hope it never does. But if you can give back and help those kids that are, CMN takes it to a whole nother level. It's getting you back to being a normal kid. And it's not just hospital life, it's regular life, as regular as it can be. Now that I'm starting to be able to bear full weight, started pitching lessons and started working for my dad in construction and really just living a normal life, hanging with my friends and doing everything they can do. No restrictions really.